I believe in a saying that if you want to become successful in life, you need to have a vision and that you will have to work hard to achieve it by doing great things every day. You will develop skills and gain a lot of experience and it will become a habit that you will do a lot of work every day in your farm. Good habits will lead you to a good result and it will eventually put you to achieve your visions in life. It's another fun learning ideas in hydroponics and welcome back to my channel. I believe in a saying that if you want to become successful in life, you need to have a vision and that vision will lead you to become successful. In today's video, I'm going to inspire you once again because a lot of people are asking me one question. How much capital will I take to put up a large hydroponic system or a large greenhouse for business my advice is just start small gain enough knowledge and have more experience especially in selling promoting your crops it's not easy but you need the guts to do it if you made this business will follow doesn't matter where we go and destination or no I don't care where the motor stops because when I want it then I yeah, I want it, oh I want it, let's go Look around, where's the people at? I want a taste of the good life Hit me with it right now, in it Cause when I want it, then I want it Yeah, I want it, oh I want it, let's go And I won't look back, yeah I don't care about the bad shit back home It's Cincinnati, baby, I just wanna let it go Nothing matters when we're way out Most of you guys don't have enough money to start or don't have a huge amount of money, a huge amount of capital to start a hydroponics like this. Now I'm going to share to you what are my experience and what are my strategies from small space up to this large greenhouse and I am expanding more and more because today is November I want you to learn also the strategies of mine before I achieve this a huge greenhouse so I started with 2 by 12 space at home the first attempt was not successful the seeds I bought did not grow I did not stop from that moment I just try and try again until it grows well so at first the objective was not to grow and sell but to grow for family consumption after a few months of growing I posted it on my social media account in Facebook and there are few people recognize it and some of that are potential buyers so they asked me that if I sell my lettuce, I said yes, 
so it's probably 50 pesos for two heads of lettuce and from that time from one buyer it I ended up 30 buyers weekly so I just uh, embraced that moment I just learned that moment so from that on I started to dream to have a farm a huge farm like this so guys this is the first setup this is the gabo type greenhouse we put 400 boxes here and all Kratky method I have no money to hire uh, people to work for me so that's why me and my wife are the first employee here in JNG Backyard Lettuce so from there we save enough money and then we save and we save then we turn this into NFT hydroponics system because this system will accommodate Lots of lettuce. Up until this day, the demand is very impressive. I cannot supply all the restaurants here, regular buyers and even Korean restaurants here in our place so now I just had to save and look for potential space around here in our place so that in due time when I am about to get my salary in YouTube I will build a huge greenhouse farm here in our town someday
So guys, that's it for today. I hope you learned a lot from this episode. Learn to grow first before jumping into business because you have to experience a lot. You experience selling, promoting, and so on and so forth. So guys, before doing business, please enjoy the process. I hope you learned a lot today. See you on next episode, guys. Bye.